While the ratio between Naruto episodes and Naruto video games isn't quite one-to-one, -one, there have already been quite a few game adaptations of the franchise. Also, they usually have intense subtitles too, like... There have been crashes, rises, broken bonds, and other various ninja-related activities, but the newest PS3 exclusive is a veritable storm of ninjas. And though it's not quite the ultimate fighting game, it's still a very fast and fun title that should please a wide range of people. The main goal of Ultimate Ninja Storm is to bring all the slick action of the Naruto series to people of all skill levels. The result is a very approachable fighting game that uses a simpler control scheme to pull off awesome looking moves. This is both one of the best and worst things about the fighting engine. A lot of the coolest stuff comes from mashing on circle over and over. Anyone can do it. This makes for a more casual fighter, and this may turn some people off. I personally would have liked to see more button combos, like a more conventional fighter, but Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm allows you to set a character's main special move before a round, then you're kind of stuck with that move during the match. This isn't too bad though because it does lead to very quickly paced, cool looking battles. It's not like there's no strategy to be found here either. Managing your chakra, timing your blocks and dashes, and exploiting your projectiles and items takes a fair amount of skill. The fact that your attacks are so easy to pull off actually makes all this management feel more natural. Different fighters also have different special abilities so you need to factor this in while fighting, but it's still not as varied as say a franchise like Guilty Gear. Also, two support characters are picked before each round. You can use them to string together custom combo chains. Finally, there are rather insane ultimate jutsu attacks that are so over the top and well executed, you need to see them to believe them. Stages in Ultimate Ninja Storm look nice, but they're pretty basic and empty. If you're looking for crazy interactivity, you'll be disappointed, but the flat surfaces really emphasize the craziness of the fights themselves, so that's a plus. It should be noted that the graphics in general are awesome. This is truly a living version of the anime in video game form. The animation, speed, sound, and presentation is top notch. The level of detail that developers have crammed into the game is insane. You can tell that CyberConnect 2 has learned from each of the Naruto projects that it's put out in the past. The only technical problem I've had with the game is that the loading is way too long for a title with an 11 minute install. Watching the cute little frog hop up out of the reeds on the loading screen for the first time is fun enough, but by the hundredth time, yeah, not so much. Ninja Storm follows the first few story arcs from the anime, so people without Rock Lee action figures can get into it easily. Be warned that it's more of a mission-based structure with quick written recaps and the occasional neat cutscene. This is not a game that's concerned with retelling the story with grand narrative flair. An interesting addition to Ultimate Ninja Storm is that there's a fully modeled overworld that you can spend time in, in between missions. This is an excellent recreation of the Hidden Leaf Village, which is Naruto's hometown. Here you can hunt for collectibles that will open the way to massive amount of unlockables. Things like moves, music, movies, dioramas, what have you. I like the idea of having hub world, and it's fun to just dash around and jump through the city. I do wish that there was a deeper level of interaction though, such as being able to dash across any surface as opposed to just certain walls. And the endless item collecting can get a little annoying. Trust me, you'll be finding a lot of secret scrolls. Epic amounts, really. The missions are a combination of story fights, fun but really repetitive minigames that involve a lot of tree jumping, and boss fights. The scale of the boss fights is pretty phenomenal, even if they play out in a similar fashion. You usually find yourself running around a big guy while you wait for an opening. Quick time events then seal the deal.